Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. another beautiful day in Minnesota. It's going to be above freezing today, so next week it's going to be in the mid-40s. I don't know what's going on with this winter, but it's, the closer we get to Christmas, I want some bloody snow. Snow's gone. Now it's just brown. That ain't pretty. I need some snow for Christmas. Especially after picket fence, because now I don't have to drive anywhere. <laughs> That's the benefit of homeschool. I don't have to take Victoria to school, so I can just stay home and enjoy the snow. Maybe bake a cookie. I don't bake cookies. I can. I just don't have time. Today I loaded up the bookshelf. I got a seat in here. Nobody called me after I left yesterday to say I sold anything big. So. I probably did. <laughs> That's not true. I'll see you when I get there. Yesterday was a good day. I think it was a good day. Um, I did not go up and check the second booth at all yesterday. So I went up there when I first got there. And then after, I, when I was leaving for the day, didn't go up and check to see if anything had sold. We'll see. I'll check it out today. Um, but I brought the extra furniture just in case because it gets busy and they forget to call and they forget to text, so. Oh. I forget how much I like actually going there and working with the customers until like days like yesterday where the customers were all in a good mood and it was nice to see our regulars I hadn't seen in a while. And it was just really enjoyable and I forget how much I like that. I mean, sometimes, let's face it, customers are awful sometimes. <laughs> there are some really bad customers out there. We've all seen them. I don't care if you've just been out shopping and you've never worked retail, you've seen them. If you've never seen one, you're that person. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't get comments on that one. <laughs> If you've never seen the pain in the butt customer, you are the pain in the butt customer. But, you know, we've all seen them. We've all seen how horrible working in retail or restaurants can be because some people are just nasty, you know. And yesterday wasn't one of those days. I'm praying today isn't one of those days either or the whole weekend, frankly. All right, I'm going to get to pick it, see what's sold. Okay, sold a couple tall pieces. So the table or the floor lamp that I had right here is gone. That leaves a big hole up here. And then there was a pedestal here. So that obviously there's not as much height right there. So I'm gonna have to fix that up. Needs height. I mean, it absolutely needs height. So let's figure out what we're gonna do here, people. Okay, so here's what I did. So I added some height there by adding that spire onto a candle holder. And then I took the um, ski poles and hung them to kind of fill in the gap there. And I moved that chair over because it was hanging over here. And then I moved this piece down from up there so that I could put the rocking chair up there, the little baby rocker up there. And that filled in that hole there and that filled in the hole there. And I think you know, I just added a few extra pieces because I know I had some smalls that sold up here. So I've just filled in with a couple new pieces because if it's not here, they can't buy it, right? Added the giant bow over here. Didn't really do much over here. Move the Christmas tree down and that's it. So I'm going to go to the second booth now and see what we've got going on in there. Okay, I'll have to do an overlay of the second booth because there was copyrighted Christmas music playing. <laughs> YouTube frowns on that. So, 
So I sold a few pieces. I just went ahead and added in and filled in some smalls, including some replacement bubble lights and things like that, but nothing too big. So I didn't sell anything huge. Kind of disappointed. Sold a lot of doilies, which is really strange, but I think I know who I sold them to. I think I sold the doilies to a, uh, um, the uh, Historical Society. So that lady comes in and she buys these red and white doilies all the time. And that's what I had in there. And the ones that were not sold were the ones that were not the red and white doilies. But, you know, it was a good day. It wasn't a great day. But it... Better than nothing. Um, the hard part, like I said last month, is going to be that I work tomorrow on Saturday. And ordinarily, when I didn't have the second booth, I didn't work on Saturday. And what I would tell myself is that, oh, I was gonna make tons of sales on Saturday, you know? And so I didn't worry about making rent. And now when I'm there working on Saturday and I don't see stuff, if I don't see stuff moving, I'll have wicked anxiety. <laughs> it, it's just the way it is. That's the way it is, is you, you look around going, I'm not gonna make rent this month. I'm not gonna make rent this month. My Hashimoto's kicked up really bad this morning. My joints and my hands are like, I uh, took some Tylenol, but it hasn't really done anything yet. I wanna make sure I have my water, stay hydrated. And uh, my mask. I think that table that I bought, that oval table back there, somebody had a candle on it, it stinks. Like my whole car smells like an icky candle though. Anyway. Oh, I think it's over for the day for me. It's okay day. Okay. The uh, letters to Santa mailbox is gone. I knew that would go. I've been surprised it lasted as long as it did actually. Um, today I said that, you know, we had great customers, all this stuff. Oh yeah, today they were triggering me right and left. I had one today. <laughs> And then she takes this blanket off a hanger and she's looking at the blanket, you know, through the whole thing, look, look, look it over, make sure there's no stains or rips or anything like that. And she goes, I don't want it. And she drops it on the ground and then hangs the hanger up. What? So I, get, I said, that's okay, I'll get it. But I'm totally triggered then because that's like my biggest pet peeve that is so rude. Like, is that the only reason your hair is to just destroy things and make a mess? Because you're just a jerk. And then the one that takes the cake, the one that takes the cake is this woman. First, she wants a dealer discount. We don't have a dealer discount. No, you can give us your tax ID number, fill out an SD3 form, and we'll, you know, not charge you tax. But she wants a dealer discount on this lamp that's like a $200 lamp that the vendor had 75 bucks on the darn thing. So she already was getting a good enough price on it. You know, in my opinion, she was gonna double her money, no problem. And then she comes back and she goes, where's my light bulb? Because we don't pack the light bulbs. We, they break. There's no point packing it to send it home with you. This is a freaking light bulb, lady. I know it had a light bulb and I looked at it she came out. I started ranting about this freaking light bulb. And I was like, wow. I'm done. I am so done. I'm drinking tonight. I am drinking tonight. <laughs> it was like, are you freaking kidding me about this bloody light bulb? I know it had a light bulb in it. Did you take it? Yeah, I took it. Took it out of there. I am just done.